hello everybody welcome to the impressive channel this story right here is insane now the singer cassie is suing p diddy for 30 million dollars for years of controlling her violating her physically harming her and causing her mental emotional psychological and physical distress cassie dated diddy for about a decade she first started dating him in 2007 and she was kind of pressured into a relationship with diddy because at the time she was young she was 19 years old freshly signed to bad boy records diddy was controlling her career so if she rejected him she would be scared that he would basically stall her career and she started out doing great she had a hit record called me and you things were looking up for her and diddy had his eyes on her he wanted her but at the time cassie was rumored to be dating ryan leslie which was her producer and diddy was still in a relationship with kim porter but diddy didn't care he wanted cassie and he basically snatched cassie away from ryan but he kind of did this by using his power because cassie knew that he had control over her career and if she rejected him he would ruin her career basically she did end up being lured into a relationship with diddy and he introduced her to drugs and had her pop in e-pills and while she was under the influence he would basically have sex with her so this is how he got his hold on her and it did help that he would lavish her with expensive gifts and pay for everything so she was being taken care of but her career at this point was being derailed because now she went from being an artist to being Diddy's professional girlfriend. And she went through a lot during this time. A lot of horrific things happened during their 10 years relationship. And she did detail all of this in her lawsuit. Cassie's lawyer, Douglas Wigder, said that Diddy actually tried to pay her hush money before this lawsuit came out. He allegedly tried to silence her with eight figures to keep her from filing this lawsuit but cassie rejected it she was like nope i'm gonna tell my story and i'm gonna get my justice now in the court documents diddy had a team of people who helped control cassie and the people who worked in his camp would be too scared to even step in and help her and she realized how powerful he really was she could call the police but she knew that diddy had too much power to be taken down because the witnesses would be too afraid to speak and if Cassie didn't obey his orders or if she didn't cover up his sordid activities, he would threaten not to release her music. I mean, he had total control of her life and he paid for everything. He even had access to her personal medical records. And in the lawsuit, it was said that Cassie did have an MRI scan and it showed that she had memory loss due to Diddy going upside her head all the time and also due to the drugs. She took a lot of painkillers and diddy urged her to take it in fact he supplied her with it and cassie did try to leave diddy there was a point where she tried to leave back in 2016 and the situation turned volatile in fact the police was even called to their residence cassie of course never pursued action against diddy because she was scared of him definitely afraid of him because he was very volatile and after he would go upside her head Y'all know I can't say the word exactly, but he would put the paws on her. And after he would do that, he would shower her with gifts to kind of soothe her. But he would cause so much damage to her physically that she had bruises and he would have to hide her away in hotel rooms so she could heal. And throughout the lawsuit, you see numerous times where Diddy put the hands on Cassie. Like he was out here Ike Turnering Cassie. This was an Ike and Tina relationship, literally. Diddy is crazy now. I mean, it has been alleged that he used to mistreat a lot of his exes. In fact, he mistreated his late ex, Kim Porter, a lot. According to Diddy's former bodyguard, Gene Dill, it was alleged that Diddy went upside her head and he would make it hard for her to get close to any other guy. And he would do the same thing to his baby mama, Misa Hilton. Cause well, Misa was out there. She was messing with uh, the dude uh, from... EPMD. She she thought Puff was messing around. I guess like she started talking to the dude from EPMD. He came to see her, and Puff beat up till she got up under the beat up literally till she tried to run up under the car. Wow. 
and it seemed like it was no different with Cassie. In fact, back in 2012, when Cassie and Diddy briefly split up, Cassie started dating the rapper Kid Cudi, and Diddy was so mad about it that he threatened to blow up Kid Cudi's car. And interestingly enough, Kid Cudi's car exploded in his driveway. Crazy. And anytime Diddy found out that Cassie was even talking to another guy, he would harass that man and put the beats on Cassie. Diddy is crazy. I mean, when they say Diddy is the devil, they weren't lying. I mean, this man allegedly is a menace behind the scenes. And this could be the reason why he's rebranding now and calling himself Love Combs because he has done a lot of dirt and that dirt is catching up to him now. So he's trying to appear like he's all about love and trying to clean up his image because he doesn't want people to see that dark side of him, but he has a dark side, a very volatile side and a very controlling side. And Cassie has seen all of the sides. I remember there was a video, a very disturbing video that Diddy posted of him and Cassie. And it was so odd because Cassie just looked like she was out of it and she was hiding from him. And I was like, what in the world is going on? Y'all need to watch this video. Look at this. What you, want my, what? what you gotta say now? What you gotta say now? You ain't got shit to say when you put your girl on the snap. Baby, yo babe. I mean, shit getting weird. Come on, baby, it's hot outside. You fucking wrapped up in that blanket. Let's go jog on the beach. And Diddy not only put the paws on her, but he also pimped her out and also had her busting it wide open for other male escorts. And he would sit there and watch because he liked seeing her with another man. He actually liked looking at the men too. He would actually make Cassie search for BBC escorts. If y'all know, y'all know. He was out here looking for the big D and he had Cassie out here. And this is how she actually got paid. He would actually make her do these acts to get weekly payments. And he would call these arrangements freak offs. And he had Cassie on camera doing a lot of degrading things. And a lot of times when she was doing this, she was high, high as a kite. She was high on all types of stuff. Most of these encounters were very horrific for her. And the situation was scary because she would be caught on camera doing these acts. And just when she thought that she would be able to delete it, Diddy would find a way to access those videos. He would recover it from her device. So he always had this over her head. He had so much dirt on her that if she were to ever go to the police, he would kind of threaten her with this footage and say, you got a lot to lose. And Cassie really did try to leave. I mean, she tried y'all, but Diddy was a violent beast and he had a powerful network of people that would lure Cassie back into the fold. They would isolate her from her friends and family and she would be scared a lot of times because he was so dangerous, very, very, very dangerous. And he even forced himself on her one night when he forced his way into her apartment. She tried to turn him down and say, no, no, no. And he forced himself on her, which is very, very graphic details there. And this actually happened in 2018. And this is the year when Diddy and Cassie ended their relationship. So this was really the last straw for Cassie. But even after she left him, Diddy was still trying to keep tabs on her. I mean, he was obsessive. He really was. But this situation is dark, man. Like, I don't really like reporting on stories like this at all. It's just dark. It shows how dark this industry is. And it's crazy how Diddy has been able to get away with so much for so many years. There are way too many stories out there for people to just ignore it. Like at this point, people need to wake up and Diddy needs to be investigated. And I did hear that the NYPD does have a secret investigation on him right now. And it does involve SA. And honestly, Cassie might not be the only victim contributing to this investigation either. It could be a lot more female and male victims that have come forth. So this case might be bigger than we realize, but this investigation is breaking news and it's long overdue. Diddy needed to be investigated and Kim Porter's death needs to be investigated because I personally feel like the cause of her death was very sketchy and it was covered up. It was so hush hush 
And it was said that she was coming out with a tell all book before she passed. You know what I'm saying? Kim know all his deepest secrets. You understand? Kim knew why he was using the butt plugs. <laughs> Kim probably told all that shit in her book. You understand? That up and got missing the day she died. So Kim mysteriously died after it came out that she allegedly was trying to write a book. I'm glad that Cassie opted not to do the tell all, but she decided to take legal action and sue Diddy. And I'm so glad that she did that. And I could be wrong, but I get the feeling that he might be doing some foul things to young Miami too. I'm pretty sure he has her doing all types of nasty things behind the scenes. She even admitted that she gets peed on. So you know she's doing a lot of things just to get the opportunities that she has now. And honestly, it's not worth it. It's not worth selling your soul like this. But sadly, a lot of people do this because they wanna get ahead. But what does it profit a man to gain the whole world but lose your soul? It doesn't profit anybody. And it's definitely not profiting Diddy. Diddy sold his soul a long time ago. And because he sold his soul, he wants to make other people's lives miserable. He wants to exert his power. He wants to feel like he has power over other people and he could force people to do what he wants because he wants to feel like he's in control. But truthfully, he's not in control. There are people higher above him that are controlling him. And he has to result to all types of behaviors just to cope with the fact that he lost his soul. And now his time is up. His Illuminati membership has expired and he's about to get all of the things coming to him, all of the karma. Even now he's being implicated in this Tupac murder case because it was said that he hired Keefe D to order a hit out on Pac. So it seems like everything is happening all at once and Diddy is really about to go down. Anyway, tell me what y'all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.